If you're looking to buy a little something for a musician, or maybe you're a musician and you want to share this video with somebody that's going to be buying for you, this video is looking at musician stocking stuffer ideas that range from little in size and price to a little bigger in size and price. And first up on this list, let's look at something for the guitarist, and that's guitar strings. And there's many different types of strings out there. If you're buying for a guitarist, you might want to ask, do they have an acoustic guitar or an electric or even a bass guitar? Because all these strings are different and they make great stocking stuffers. You can buy multiple packs. They're not very expensive. Bass strings are a little more expensive. I'll link to them down in the description. All right, next on the list is something a little more fun. This is a shaker. And this could be for anyone. These are great for recording in the studio. You can use them for performing on stage. If the musician in your family is a performer who does live shows, these are great. Or if they record, these sound great in recording as well. All right, next up is something that pretty much any musician or singer could use, and that's cables. Whether it's a cable for your guitar or instrument or a mic cable for your microphone. These are always appreciated, especially good quality cables for in the studio or on stage. You really can't have enough of them. Next up is another fun little instrument. This is a harmonica and you can get really nice harmonicas for fairly cheap. I think this one was around 10 or $12. It's a Fender hum harmonica. It comes in a nice little hard case and it makes a great little stocking stuffer. Next up is something more for guitarists again. This is a guitar cleaning kit, but you could also use this on pianos or any sort of wooden instrument. So you can get these guitar cleaning kits. There's many different varieties out there and they range in price and what's included with them. And another cool thing is this guitar string cleaner. You just rub this on the strings that are already on your guitar after every time you use it. And this keeps it clean and keeps them sounding newer longer. This one's from Music Nomad and it's called the All-in-One String Fuel Cleaner and Lubricant. All right, do you have a drummer to buy for? Drum sticks are an excellent buy. These things are always breaking. You can buy them for fairly cheap if you're just getting some cheapies, maybe for practicing, or you can get some really nice premium ones. So be sure to check all of your options out depending on your budget and that sort of thing. But drumsticks for the drummer, I'm sure will always be appreciated. All right, this next thing could be for a singer or maybe somebody who mics up a guitar or some other instrument. And of course it's microphones. There's many different microphones out there. This one here is ideal for recording acoustic guitar and acoustic things like that. And this one here is more of a vocal microphone, but I have used this on acoustic guitar and it sounds great there as well. There's a lot of different options out there and they can range from $20 and go up into the thousands. So if you are buying for somebody, maybe you can hint at what type of microphone they might want and maybe see what's in your budget for that type of microphone. All right, so up next we have audio interfaces. And these are great for anybody who's just getting into recording music at home or making a little bit of a home studio to start writing and recording their own songs. These can range in size and pricing. These little Behringer ones here are probably amongst the most affordable ones out there, but there's all different sizes. Or maybe you'd wanna consider something a little more on the higher end side, like this Audient ID4. All right, now here's something that any music lover can enjoy and that's headphones. These ones here are the Audio-Technica ATH-M50X. They're designed for studio use. So if you're buying for somebody who's getting into home studio music production or maybe they're a streamer online, these are very popular headphones. They are a little more expensive, but in the grand scheme of studio headphones, these are kind of on the cheaper side of things and they are great quality. I'll be sure to link to these ones and maybe a couple of other options as well. All right, another thing for guitarists is a string cutter. This is called the Grip Cutter. It's a premium string cutter. So if the guitarist in your family has those dangly strings always about to poke your eye out, something like this can really help. And it makes cutting strings. I've even used these on bass strings. It makes it very easy to do. Another item for guitarists is a little tuner. You just clip this onto any headstock, you play a string, and this is going to show you where you need to tune it up. 
They're very easy to use. They range in pricing, but typically you can find them from around $10 up to around $40 for a decent one. All right, more items for the guitarist in the family. These are guitar pedals. And this one here is like a multi-effects pedal. It has lots of different effects in there. And you can use this in the studio or on stage. It can make a great studio effect for not only guitars, but other instruments as well. And something small like this is a great stocking stuffer. These are pretty cheap. They're very small micro pedals. You can grab these for like $20 and maybe up to $40. They are a great little stocking stuffer. Just have a look, see what looks neat and shove them in the stocking of the musician in your life. All right, another very useful item for musicians is something like this hardware recorder. This is the Zoom H6, but there's a bunch of different hardware recorders out there. These are excellent if they just want to plug in or this one actually comes with microphones too, so they could just mic up their acoustic guitar or their voice or whatever it is they want to record, or they could plug it in and record that way. This one will record four inputs at the same time, but there is an expansion where you could even have two more inputs onto it, or you could record with the attached microphone and the other things as well. They're very versatile and an excellent buy for a musician. All right, this next item can be used by pretty much anyone in the studio or on stage, and it's a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI controller. Now, a MIDI keyboard is basically what it sounds like. It's a keyboard, but it doesn't make sounds on its own. You have to connect it to a computer or an iPad, and then you have virtual instruments, which there are virtually limitless instruments out there that you can download, a lot of them for free, and you can control them using this and it turns it into a synthesizer or a piano or whatever instrument it is that you download. Now this other one is a MIDI controller and this can be used to record the software that they're recording their music into. So it can start recording, it can adjust levels with the sliders, you can adjust the pan with the little pan knobs up here, you can stop, play, all kinds of things that you want to do in your recording software can be done from this thing here and it gives you a more hands-on approach. All right, more little things for guitarists. Of course, there are picks you can get and picks are always appreciated because they go missing all the time or break, that sort of thing. And a capo. If the guitarist in your life doesn't have a capo yet, you should really get them one because this can expand their creativity quite a bit just by getting one of these little capos. I think they range in price from like $12 and they can go up. So these ones here are called the Kaiser brand. I really like those and they're usually fairly inexpensive. Another thing that you can buy for the home studio musician in your life is plugins. You can purchase the plugins, print out the license, put that in their stocking, and I'm sure they'll be very happy. You might want to talk to the musician to see what kind of plugins they're interested in. Another option for the home studio musician or recording artist is a little mixer like this. They can attach their microphones, their instruments, any line out gear or effects that they might have, and they can route all of this into their computer or whatever it is they're routing the audio into. These are great little mixers. They can range in price from around $50 and go up into the thousands, depending on what you're going to buy. This little guy right here, I think was around $90 or $100, something like that. And like I said, there are lots of options available to you. This next item is something that guitarists and vocalists or pretty much anyone that uses a microphone can use. This is a desktop or just a small microphone stand. And this one here is a boom stand. So this can adjust out that way. It can go up and you can lower it down however you want. It's extremely versatile for miking up guitar amp cabinets or if you have it on your desk and you want the microphone in your face, this is extremely adjustable for doing that and it can be put away very easy too. The base of it comes off, it folds up, can fit into a stocking very nice. All right, this last thing is for a bit bigger of a stocking. This is basically your home studio all in one package. You have your audio interface, a microphone, cable, and headphones all in one package. Everything that you'll need to start recording music in your home studio, you just connect the audio interface to your laptop or your tablet, whatever you have, and you can start making music. And the included software that comes with this particular one, this is the Scarlett Solo Studio. The software that comes with this one and all of the Focusrite Scarlett audio interfaces is incredible. You don't need to buy anything else 
everything you need is included in this bundle. And if you want to check out the full review that I did of this bundle right here, click the video on the screen right now. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.